Uh, first, I want to thank uh, Aaron Engel and Bill and uh, the entire conference committee for uh, their tremendous support for putting this, helping to organize this panel today. So why are we here today? Well, from emerging fields such as digital forensics to press coverage of massive server farms constructed by Apple, Google, and other major corporations, we are developing an acute social awareness of the materiality of data, and consequently, the environmental costs for preserving our digital heritage. The question remains whether we can achieve mutually beneficial compatibility between stewardship of our digital collections and stewardship of the planet. The formula for achieving greater environmental sustainability is relatively clear cut. A reduction in energy and resource consumption effectively can lead to greater cost efficiency. But models for how we arrive at that endpoint can be enormously varied, complex, and with roadblocks set all along the entire pathway. As will become apparent from the presentations by our esteemed panelists, a comprehensive examination of the topic requires an interdisciplinary approach that engages multiple interest groups, including preservationists, IT specialists, administrators, computer engineers, environmentalists, and many others. Any solutions would likely also challenge our shared notions of best practices surrounding digital stewardship, such as selection, curation, acquisition, and even our perception of long-term preservation and access. While we hope to cover a lot of ground with our session today, its success depends on continuing the discussion throughout this conference and beyond. For that reason, we have included a brief abstract, as uh, Aaron indicated, uh, in a registration packet, uh, complete with suggested readings uh, to kickstart further inquiry, uh, and that abstract is also posted online. And we hope to see the conversation picked up uh, in social media. Uh, we have a hashtag uh, designated at Green Dig Prez, uh, as well as various websites and blogs. So, allow me now to introduce our three presenters. Starting us off will be David Rosenthal, who is perhaps best known in the NDSA community for having started the LOCKS program through Stanford University. Before coming to Stanford, David worked at Sun Microsystems, NVIDIA, and Vitria Technology. He currently holds 23 patents, and these days you can find him more often than not traveling the globe to discuss economic models for long-term storage. Chris Carpenter is the director of the Web Archive at the Internet Archive where she works with national libraries, uh, archives, and universities to provide technical expertise and services in web archiving and web search. For the last 15 years, she has divided her time between the online consumer and business-to-business -business services and software sectors. And finally, Krishna Khan is both research professor at the Center of Secure Information Systems at George Mason University and program director in the Computer and Networks Systems Division Cluster within the National Science Foundation. Previously, Krishna worked for Intel on future server architectures and technologies, and he currently allocates his time among researching sustainability and energy issues in data center designs, uh, cloud computing, and internet infrastructure. So after the brief presentations, uh, we will certainly open up the floor for an extended Q&A discussion.